There has been about a three year reign of dominance now from these guys right here. Good Good Golf has been the predominant group in the YouTube golf scene, pretty much unchallenged. Obviously, Bob Desports came into the scene a little while ago, but completely different value prop. They're not playing under the guise of Good Golf. The challenges are different. They're more comedy based. They're not as golf based. So those two ran parallel. But for the first time in the history of YouTube golf, it feels like we have a head to head challenge to the good good crew and we're going to talk all about it today we're going to talk about what it means for youtube golf the future of youtube golf what's been going on behind the scenes some uh some some shots some shots fired we're gonna get into all of it today if you guys appreciate this content hit that subscribe button thank you for all you guys who have been tuning into the videos i'm gonna do a little subscriber giveaway i haven't done one of these in a long time i recently found a product that absolutely changed my life this is not an ad at all i'm not being paid to do this um it's called a it's a little brush here it's just i don't really think there's a name for it, but it's this little golf brush it's this little piece of plastic here you push up and boom you have a brush for your clubs everyone always asks me what i'm using to brush my clubs in the videos it's these that and then on the other side there's a little pick so you can get into the grooves it's literally the most handy thing of all time these things last forever too the bristles get a little bent but they still work i buy them in packs of four so i'm gonna do a subscriber giveaway i'm gonna pick five random subscribers at the end of the week and i'm gonna send you a pack of four of these because i love you and i appreciate you so if you're already subscribed to the channel, that's great. You're going to be entered to win. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, which like an insane percentage of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button. That's all you have to do. I'm going to pick a random, and this is going to change your life. This little tiny doohickey is going to change your life. So anyway, I'll send uh, five subscribers a pack and announce it at the end of the week. Let's get into the video. Obviously, there has been a slew of content, really, I think, originating with the YouTube Golf Championships. Those were a couple months ago. We had one on Grant's channel, then we had one on Micah's channel, both 1.4 to like 1.8 million view bangers on sub 500,000 channels. We have a third one that was recorded in Bermuda when all these guys were down there filming. The Bermuda content itself, outside of the of the YouTube Championships, which is going to be coming out on Brian Bros, has been incredible. I think one of the all-time Micah Morris videos with that battle between Grant and George at the end, like the Grant 1v1 that he put out yesterday against Wesley. If you haven't watched that yet, he titled it the greatest 1v1 of my life. I think the video is like performing better than any video Grant's ever uploaded in 24 hours. It literally is the greatest. I think it's the greatest 1v1 on YouTube golf. I'm not going to ruin it for you, but it is suspenseful. It comes down right to the end. It's beautiful golf course, beautiful golf by two really good golfers, but you couldn't script the way this match goes. So anyways, lots of incredible content. But one of the things that's so interesting, just like the Busted Jack 3v3 video playing behind me is that you now have these guys. Micah is a great example of like, Micah posted a video that Micah was only in for like four minutes. And that video has gotten hundreds of thousands of views. Micah Morris on his own solo channel posted a video where he's in it for four minutes. The whole video is made good by the fact that George and Grant had an epic battle at the end. That video was not Micah Morris playing golf. It was Micah Morris playing golf for four minutes and then it was these guys. And the reason why I'm highlighting that is because it, it shows the power of this group format. Now, there has been so much speculation around these six individuals obviously collaborating together nonstop. They seem to just fit together like peanut butter and jelly. All of the content is always super electric, but the formations of collaborations have always been sparse on individual channels. And I, I do think it's probably going to stay that way. Could this be an evolution of the good, good model? Could this be taking advantage of the perks and not having to deal with the headaches? I think that's an interesting conversation. I want to hear your thoughts on that because the good, good model, you have all these guys in a group. They do have their own solo channels, but the content they film for good, good goes on good, good's channel. These guys now are doing something that I would call almost like a slight evolution on that and not necessarily an evolution good or better, but an evolution instead of having this one solid like group channel that all of their group based content is on they're getting together and they're just having like a trade-off of group-based content uploaded to each other's channels. They all come together. They probably form ideas together or come with their own individual ideas for their own channels. And then they all participate in collaborative videos for each other's channels that are then passed around. The YouTube championships is the best example of that. Like that right there is a guarantee. It's taking, you know, the good, good major format and it's 
then putting it on each individual's channel or each of these individuals. None of these people have more than 500K subscribers each. None of them. Grant is the rocket ship. He's definitely the biggest of all of them right now. But especially Busted Jack and Brian Bros, like I'm close to 500K and guaranteed every time they upload one of these YouTube championships, it's gonna pull well over a million views. So these individuals with quarter million subscribers are all of a sudden gonna have 750,000 people who aren't subscribed to the channel. Plus, come and check them out. So the value that they're gaining by having this group content not go on to one channel and just hoping that people go off and seek their individual channels, but instead actually posting that group content to an individual's channel and then rotating is nuts. I think the value prop to each individual and their channels is huge. It's a very interesting conversation because again, I think in order to succeed on YouTube, I say, I've said this and blew in the face with it, you have to do something different. And these guys are currently doing something that's been done before but differently. They're doing a high level group collaborative content style of golf, but instead of centralizing on one channel, they are dispersing it upon individuals channels and each being able to put their own individual spin on it, each having their own individual creative control over what style of videos they want to do, which does keep the content fresh. Listen, I think it's, it's working. It's very cool. It is creating some level of competition. It is, it really is. And I love competition. I think competition is amazing. I think competition is what forces people to evolve and to get better. But I also think that it just, it overall brings more interest into the space. Having another group that's kind of pushing a similar value prop to Good Good is actually gonna help Good Good. It's gonna make Good Good and their fans, you know, their, or sorry, the fans of these guys who maybe haven't seen as many Good Good videos because believe it or not, even though Good Good's like the biggest group in the space, one of the biggest channels, there are definitely people who watch YouTube golf that don't watch Good Good videos. They're gonna see this. They're gonna see Micah's knockout challenge. Be like, oh, that was a cool concept. And then probably get start getting recommended knockout videos from Good Good. Be like, yeah, I'll give it a chance. Watch it. Oh my goodness, I love this format. Boom, Good Good gets a bunch of new viewers. So the competition drives, it's, it's a rising tide raises all ships. And however we can bring more unique viewers into the space and across each other's channels, it grows every. So I think overall, it's really, really good for the space. But let's talk about the title thumbnail. Let's talk about the post from Steven, which I think is awesome. Uh, basically, Good Good on their Instagram, like a couple days ago, a week ago, something like that, posted what now I think is an infamous shot of Matt Scharf just freaking out. And anytime in the history of the internet, you've seen a photo of Matt Scharf freaking out, it's been because he made a hole in one, either on a par four, either on one of the most famous par threes in the world. What has he done now? I really don't know, but we have photos of the group with no caption on the green freaking out. Steven posts on his Instagram story, photo that photo with Good, good can't be beat. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this is followed extremely closely to these guys celebrating George's hole in one that he did while he was down in Bermuda. That video was posted on Brian Bro's Instagram, on Grant's Instagram, on Micah's Instagram. I think Buster Jack was co posted across all four. That video went super viral, obviously, and they were celebrating the fact that they got this hole in one, this group thing, whatever. Doing knockout videos, doing group based collaborations, freaking out over hole in ones. It really feels like good good and like i spent this whole video talking about i think it's an evolution of it i think it's something different but it does feel very good good so now he <laughs> responds from that it does two things number one i think it shows that they're paying attention and they're like sweet here we go like there's gonna be you know a 6v6 let me just put that out there right now a 6v6 would be would break the internet i thought a grant and gm golf club would break the internet this would break the internet these six versus good good six pick six people from the good good world Oh my goodness, that would break the internet. So it might do that. It might encourage that, which is awesome. But what I think it also does is this is just kind of a sidebar is I think it confirms that Matt Sharp definitely made a hole in one of some sort. Either a insane hole out from like like GM golf level distances, like 250 yards, or he made a hole in one again, because otherwise why would you post it with good, good, can't be beat, and then right after the hole in one, I think it just lines up and makes sense. But all this to say, YouTube golf is evolving constantly and that's what's growing this space. That's what's gonna make YouTube golf continue to push to tour level status. We wanna be one of the biggest entities in the world of golf. We already are, but the further this thing can push, the more competition that comes in, the more channels, the more evolution, it's gonna grow everything. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's amazing. I think I just wanna see more and more and more and more. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later.